So I get asked this question all the time and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to get the smoothest complexion when I put my foundation on. All right, to start with this skincare, I moisturize with a heavy uh, moisturizer every single night. And then in the morning I wash my face or I'll tone my face. So I like to use the, the ordinary, this is the colic acid toning solution. Witch hazel is excellent if you have acne. So any type of open sores or anything like that that you have and you wanna wear makeup, make sure you use a witch hazel because it is an antiseptic. So it does cleanse and it gets rid of any like bacteria on your face. So I highly recommend witch hazel to rub all over your face with a cotton swab before you apply anything to your face. The thing that has made the biggest difference with my foundation application is shaving my face with these little brow razors. I'm gonna do it on camera real quick. So before I shave anything on my face, I put the NYX hydration oil on and this is just to give a smooth shave. <laughs> So it doesn't matter what brow razors I always switch up. I just buy the ones off of Amazon that are the cheapest. But what I end up doing, you can see that coming off right there. Yuck. I just want you to see what's actually coming off my face. Like I said, I do this every two weeks. You don't have to do this every two weeks, but I don't like peach fuzz on my face. So I'm going to finish my face and I'll be right back. Just look how, oh my god, this is so crazy. But look how bright and fresh my skin looks. And yes, I do my forehead. I literally do my entire face. All right, so here, I have glitter all over my face. <laughs> my skin is so smooth and so much brighter, and it is a perfect canvas to put foundation on now. One more thing though, if you are going to do this to your face, do not do it right before you do your makeup. Do it before you go to bed so you can put your heavy moisturizer on, go to sleep, wake up, wash your face, and then your face is good to go. So let's pretend I didn't just do that right before I'm gonna do my makeup. So I went to bed, I woke up, I washed my face, and now I'm going to prep my skin for my makeup. I like to use the Ordinary. This is the Buffet Plus Copper Peptides. This one, I will place this all over my face. This one, I also like the color of it, and I don't know why, but I really, really, really like the color of it. That one helps with texture and fine lines. Now I'm going to use the Plum Plump, which is going to help plump my skin up and make it look nice and juicy. Last up for skin prep, besides putting primer on, is a moisturizer. I like the Lorac moisturizer, and this is the Dose of Color one. I really, this is the Hydra Dose. I really like this one too. So I thought I was gonna be able to fit all of this in in one video, but I'm not. So I am gonna make a part two, and that's going to be the techniques I use for applying foundation, what primers I like to use on my face, and so on. So I hope this was helpful. It was just really quick to the point. I can go more in depth next time, but go to part two. All right, this is part two on answering this question on how I get the smoothest application for my foundation. So after I've prepped my skin and I put my eye base on, I put my brows on, I like to work on my face in sections. I always do my brows first, then I do my forehead, and then I do my eyeshadow, and then I do the rest of my face. And I always work like that. Even when I work on clients, I work in that order. The reason I work in that order is because I like to carve the top of the brows out, and this is how I like to do it. The foundation I'm using is the Juvia's Place and the Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. The reason I mix these two together is this is a little too heavy on my face in the winter time. And this is a little too dewy on my face, so I mix them together and it just makes the perfect concoction. So I just mixed it on the back of my beauty blender <laughs> bottle and I'm going to place this and I just kind of tap it out. Again, I've already primed and prepped everything. So now that I have that around my brows, I don't ever have to get close to my brows again. Like they're safe and they're good to go. So the rest of the product I just drag out with a flat foundation brush and I always drag it outward in, in a downward motion just to spread everything. After doing that with the foundation brush, I just take a sponge and just do one or two pass overs just to kind of really press the foundation in. Now my forehead's done and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about my brows and we can work on the foundation. So I'm gonna do my eyes real quick and then I'll come back and finish the rest of my face with you. Okay, I am back. My eyes are done. Forehead still is untouched. That's why I do it in sections. So now I'm going to put the Makeup Revolution blue, blue, Blur 
pore filler and I'm going to use the mint jelly and place the mint jelly on the outer portion and the pore filler right here on my cheek and around my nose. When doing my foundation, I take my flat foundation brush, I stick it on, pull down, stick it on, pull down. And I just do that in really quick motions all over my face. Now, if you do choose not to shave your face, this step is extremely important for you because you want your baby hairs to stay flat and down. You don't want to do this and move them all over the place because then it's going to add your, it's going to add volume to your peach fuzz and it's not going to sit right. So right now I'm just going to tap, push it in. But if you do shave your face, like I do, still do this part. It just keeps it all in one motion. Now I'm just taking my damp sponge and just doing a quick pass over just to get rid of any stippling marks I may have left with the brush. My two favorite setting powders, the Huda Beauty, which this one's called Sugar Cookie, and then the Maybelline Fit Me in number 15. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty today. Beauty mode on, beauty mode off. That's my skin routine.